Hey, I'm Kim Coleman, here to talk about open source software. I work at Paid Memberships Pro, which is a WordPress membership plugin, and we have a fully open source platform. I wanted to record a video to explain a little bit about what that means, what the benefits are to you as a user, and how to use our software for free via GitHub so that you don't have to pay for a license if you're just testing things out or otherwise can't afford a premium subscription. There's lots of open source software platforms, and all of them have a few key tenants in mind. One of them is that they make their code publicly available to other developers and users so that they can look at the code, extend the code, and contribute the code back to the main project. So WordPress itself, if you have built a site on WordPress, is an open source project. It's available on GitHub. You can see the entire source code for what a WordPress site looks like under the hood. You know, it's not something you can do for an application running on your desktop or any other software that you build or a hosted platform that you might engage with online. There's no uh, open source version of what powers Netflix available to you to use. So WordPress itself, I said, is open source. It has a, a license called the GPL, uh, more specifically GPL v2, which is the license uh, we have on our software at Paid Memberships Pro. Uh, it's just a software that says, you know, you can use this software however you want. Uh, it's yours. We don't make any promises to what it is. If you choose to extend it or fork it or modify it, you can do so. You know, there's some principles for how we would like you to contribute the changes you made back to the main project or reference it as a source material for what you've built. Um, but it really is a freedom, how you can take your software and do what you like with it and power your website without any question marks. So there are a lot of WordPress plugins that are open source. Uh, to be in the WordPress plugins repository, you have to have an open source license. And that goes for themes in the WordPress themes directory. Uh, it's not the case for every WordPress plugin. A few of our main Paid Merchants Pro competitors are not open source projects. There are platforms that you purchase the code, you get a license to use the code. And if you let that license lapse, you can no longer use the platform that's running your business. When we started Paid Memberships Pro back in like late 2010, early 2011, uh, we knew that we wanted to make an open source membership platform. Uh, we knew that we wanted to make code the way that WordPress is coded. Uh, some people joke that my business partner, Jason, hates money. Uh, it's not necessarily the approach that you would think could be profitable by giving everything away for free, uh, but it actually results in the best code. We've had hundreds of people contribute to Pay Memberships Pro over the years. We've had the support of the WordPress plugins team reviewing our code for security, making sure that everything is up to date, functioning properly, and keeping the users in mind and, and putting a layer of protection in for you. So it's kind of my background on open source. I hope it didn't sound too much like a bleeding heart, uh, but it is an awesome thing. You can still make a profitable business by being an open source product. And one of the ways that we do that is through our premium membership plans. So people purchase an upgraded plan to get advanced technical support and access to our, our premium add-ons. But let me tell you, all those add-ons are on GitHub for you to download and test drive yourself. So you might be like, what is GitHub, Kim? I don't even know what that is. So I'm gonna jump over to a demo here. This is my Muscle of Dogs demo site. It does not have a license for Paid Memberships Pro installed. I'm gonna show you how to use GitHub to download zip files of our premium add-ons and then upload them and test drive them in your membership site. So this is an option if you were just curious how an add-on will work for you, or if you're very price conscious and it's just outside of your budget to be able to purchase a license. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what that means and how you'll have to maintain your code ongoing because this route doesn't mean you'll get updates to things instantly in the way that we do for our licensed customers. So let's jump over to the demo and I'll show you how you can download a plugin from GitHub and upload it to your website. So this is our Muscle of Dogs demo site. It's a clone of the site at try.pmproplugin.com if you wanna launch your own demo. Uh, it does not have a license active. If we go to memberships license here in the admin, you'll see that there's no license key found. Um, so I can just show you some of the plugins that are on this site already. It has the advanced levels page short code, member directory and membership card. Those are all premium add-ons, but they're installed and functioning on this site. So now I'm gonna show you GitHub. Um, this is the core Paid Memberships Pro plugin. All of the source code that makes this membership plugin function in your WordPress site is here for you to browse. A lot of it's going to look like something you never saw before. It is all available for you to scan through, look through, and, and learn and understand. I mentioned how we have had contributors over the years. Here's that list of contributors. Um, they get their face on GitHub if they're actively contributing. So if you would like to contribute code, 
go to github.com forward slash stranger studios and then you can see our repositories open issues um, some of them are labeled like a good first issue so that would be a cool one for you to grab uh, but if i click over here to our stranger studios organization on github you'll see more of our repositories are available to you here repositories tab so these are all the public repositories and that's all of our premium add-ons standard and plus licensed code uh, for example here's this pm pro donations add-on on our website here you'll see it is a plus add-on um, i'm logged in as a licensed user but if i was like i really want to test drive this donations feature in my membership site i don't have a license what can i do um, you would navigate yourself to this GitHub page, go to code, download zip. So this opens on your desktop, a download of the entire code, the add-on that you would otherwise download if you had a license to your site. Uh, you'll see here it has a uh, dash dev at the end. What I like to do is unzip that folder and remove that. That's actually like the branch on GitHub and it includes that slug at the end of it. Uh, what I like to do is remove that, uh, and that helps me if in the future I set this up and then I get a license for the membership site. That'll help you be able to uh, automatically update it later. So I like to keep it in sync with the main slug of the plugin also. So now I have a zip file I downloaded from GitHub. In my WordPress admin, I can go to Plugins, Add New, and Upload Plugin. This lets me upload a zip file of a plugin directly to the WordPress site and install it. You could also do this via FTP, SFTP, if that's available to you. Uh, you'll see that plugin installed. I didn't activate it yet. I just want to show you how it shows up here. So that's Paymerchants Pro Donations. I can activate it through the screen. And now I can use the donations add-on. I can reference all the help docs on our site. These are all um, public. Some of our docs require a free account. Um, you can do that. And then you can set up donations however you want in your membership site. So that's every add-on you'll find on our website. You can download this way, test drive them. The only thing you won't be able to do is keep them updated. So you'll have to make notes. If you are using unlicensed software, you'll want to make notes to check back in periodically and just check if there's not a new release. Like this plugin um, had a release there in 2020. It hasn't been updated recently, but there are some pull requests. I know they're actively working on this one. So this one's gonna get updated soon. You just wanna maybe make a calendar event to remind yourself, come back in, check if there's been a new release, and then you'll go through that same process again. You'll download the zip. There's another copy there. You'll you know do the unzip zip thing. And then if you wanna update it in the site, what's really cool about WordPress, you can just go back to plugins, add new, upload plugin. And if you upload a plugin with the same exact folder file name, WordPress will overwrite it. You'll see here, uh, it's already exists. The plugin's already installed. It'll compare what the two versions are, and then you can replace the current version with the uploaded version. So that's the manual process you'd have to go through by updating it. People who have a license in the site, they're automatically served those updates directly from us. It'll notify you just like any other plugin in WordPress site that needs an update. They'll show up for you uh, just like that. That makes it really seamless for people. And of course, they're also getting technical support and lots of other benefits from us. So. That's how to use Paid Memberships Pro for free. A little bit about open source. Uh, for us, being open source means that we make our code available to you. So there's a lot of like extensions for WooCommerce. They might have an open source license, but they're actually not code that you can grab and use yourself. It is supposed to be a tenant of open source that you'll be able to access software like that, that it's uh, easily accessed. You could try emailing someone and say, hey, like you, this is open source code. Can I get a copy? See what they say. Let me know if you get a copy back. But we want to take those barriers down. You know, the cost of a membership uh, for Pay Memberships Pro shouldn't be the barrier between you starting a business and getting paid. We hope that eventually in time, you'll be at a place where the software is working so well for you that you consider a way to contribute back, whether that's buying a membership or just contributing code to the open source. I'm Kim Coleman. Thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding a little bit more about open source, why we're so passionate about it here at Paid Memberships Pro. And I hope you uh, like and subscribe so you keep seeing content like this. Have a great day.